Hey guys, it's me, Bella, from Bella's Baby Nursery, and in today's video, I'm going to be changing Kennedy. Kennedy is my little Behringer repaint that I made, I want to say, last Christmas. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be changing her today. And because she's a Behringer, if you don't know what a Behringer is, a Behringer is pretty much like a baby doll, like a regular baby doll. Like, they don't come in kits, like you have to you know, disassemble them, <laughs> disassemble them, I don't even know if that's a word, um, you know, take them apart, in other words, so yeah, you can get them at the store, and then you just repaint them, so yeah, um, but because she's a Behringer repaint, I, like, some people wouldn't consider her a real reborn, just because she didn't come, ow, I hit my head, <laughs> uh, because she didn't come from, like, an actual kit, but, um, I'm just gonna be sharing my thoughts on, like, you know, Behringer's and Ashton Drake's and Paradise Gallery's babies. Like, just different dolls that you wouldn't consider Reborns, but, like, some people think of them as Reborns. So, yeah, I'm going to show you the outfit that she's going to be wearing today. There we go. I put my camera on manual focus today. I think it will be easier for me to, you know, get the camera to focus on different things. So, um, this outfit is from Carter's. I love Carter's, um, if you didn't already know. So this is like this little under onesie that's going to go under the outfit. Um, it is preemie because this baby is a preemie. It just says loved right there. It has like a little bunny stencil thing and it's floral. So yeah, we have that. And then what else? We have, okay, then we have these little pants. They're super cute. I love them. They're a bit wrinkled. It's because they were folded in the little bins that I have for my baby clothes. But, yeah. And then they have the little floral, um, I don't know what you'd call this, the floral fold. <laughs> so, yeah. But they're really cute because they're like sweatpants. Like, they don't have, like, the seam down the middle. They're just, like, really cute. They're adorable, so... So next, I also have this adorable little cardigan sweater thing. It unbuttons, and it is floral on the inside of the hood. So, super cute. So, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'm just going to start changing her. So I'm going to, like, start talking about this topic, but I feel like it's pretty controversial, so I hope nobody, like, gets mad, but, well, it's, if somebody gets mad, it's kind of weird that they would because it's not a big deal, but, um, my first reborn, and I say reborn because, I don't know, but, was an Ashton Drake doll. Um, now, I've had Behringer's since I was, like, two. And I've just always been into baby dolls, like, always. Um, so, honestly, I could have considered them my first, like, the Behringers, like, my first Reborns. But I always thought that Ashton Drake's were, like, more of a Reborn than, like, at, like Behringers and all that. But, yeah, when I got that baby, my first Ashton Drake, I was literally over the moon and I was, like, that's my like that's my reborn like she's a reborn like she's not just an Ashton Drake um and then I started hearing in the community that like I just heard people saying that oh they're not real reborns and that like really made me think and it kind of made me sad not gonna lie because I was like what um because like all this time I thought I was like you know the owner of a little reborn <laughs> but yeah and so it just i don't know it just made me sad and i was a little girl and i was just like what like i was literally like shocked i was like what the heck but i was just like no it doesn't matter what these other people say like i think it's still a re i think she's still a reborn um and i honestly I don't want to say I've completely changed my mind because I still consider her a reborn, but just not one of those reborns that are like real. You know, I just call. Ugh. 
I just kind of call her like a not real reborn. <laughs> not a fake reborn, but like, you know what I mean? She's just not like the most real looking reborn. But yeah, I think I would still consider Ashton Drake's reborns because they're just, I don't know, they're realistic. But I wouldn't consider them one of a kind reborns just because they are factory made and all that. Um, but, like, back then, I literally did not know the difference between, like, a real Reborn and my Ashton Drake. I thought that they were pretty much all the same. But once I actually got, like, my first Reborn and started, um, becoming an artist, then I was like, okay, I know the difference now. Like, I just feel like there is a difference, even if you, like, have the most realistic Ashton Drake ever. Like, there still is a difference. Ashton Drake's, I find, aren't as cuddly. They're a little more firm, which, I mean, isn't a big problem because some people do prefer their babies a bit more firmer, but um, I certainly like floppier babies, like no doubt about that, like that's just what I prefer. Um, and I just find that they're not as realistic. The vinyl is a bit different. It's not like normal vinyl. It's more of like a weird vinyl. It almost feels like vinyl that hasn't been painted, like almost like silicone-y, but not silicone it's like really hard to explain um but i don't know like i just like if there's if there are collectors out there that um consider the ashton drake's reborns i would agree with them i guess it's just it literally it doesn't matter like you could have any doll and you can call them a reborn like it literally doesn't matter and i find that people in this community like, they really care about, like, what you're calling your dolls, and it's kind of weird, because it's literally not your business what somebody's calling their doll. Um, yeah, maybe Ashton Drake's aren't authentic, uh, maybe Ashton Drake's aren't authentic, but that doesn't mean that they're not, like, I don't know. I feel like they're underrated, almost, in the community. Well, it's really hard to explain, because I... When I mean underrated, I don't mean that they're better than Reborns because, well, authentic Reborns, I should say. Um, let me pick out a pacifier. But I just think that people, um, they almost, like, don't res don't have as much respect for collectors that collect Ashton Drakes. Just because I feel like they think that, oh, they don't deserve the same amount of respect. I don't know. But they do. Like, they're still doll collectors, and they need to be respected. Okay, I don't know which pacifier to pick for her on this outfit. So, I'm thinking this one. This is, like, the original Behringer pacifier. Let me try to see if I can get this camera to focus. So, that's that one. And then I also have this little silicone passy. Let's see. Maybe... Let's see. Um, I want to magnetize her for a magnet so that she could take magnets, but she doesn't. So that'd be so cute. My goodness. Hmm. This would also be adorable. I think this is like a newbie. Yeah, it's a newbie. I love these pacifiers so much. But anyways, back to the discussion. I just feel like collectors have the right to call their dolls whatever they want um despite like maybe what they actually are if somebody is like insulting somebody for calling their reborn this or that i think it's wrong um but at the same time i don't want to like disrespect artists because like ashton drakes aren't of the same quality but like at the, like it's just a really confusing show. It's just... I'm literally stumbling over my words because it's just so hard to explain. I'm okay, so I settled on this pacifier and this pacifier clip from Honeybug. Um, it's really cute, so I'm just gonna pick these out today. So, okay, anyways, back to the topic. So, yeah, I just feel like to sum, to sum it up, I just think that people can call their dolls whatever they 
please. Like, I literally don't think that that's something that needs to be so controversial because literally I've seen people that have been, like, like thought of negatively just because they are perceived negatively just because they collect Ashton drinks. Like, I don't understand why people are just so... Like, why do they care so much? It's literally somebody else's doll. I don't get it, but, I mean, some people are just like that, I guess. Because um, I knew, like, because I know when I was little, I literally, I didn't even know the difference between um, a normal reborn and my Ashton Drake. I literally thought that they were all the same, and I knew that people were talking, you know, talking bad about them and, like, just not being very respectful but i literally didn't care because that doll brought me so much joy and i was just like whatever but i know some people take it to heart and they can care and i just feel like i don't understand why what the i don't understand why collectors need to be shamed for what they do and don't collect you know what i mean it's just kind of it's really confusing but it shouldn't be confusing because it's literally such a straightforward topic there's no controversy that it brings it's just i guess all made up by different people so i guess that brings us to the end of today's video i think kennedy looks adorable this is a very springy outfit but it's the end of summer almost um i mean it's august <laughs> but yeah so i love this outfit on her it's the first time i put her in this outfit but i think it's so cute on her it, like suits her perfectly like tell me that doesn't look adorable so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more. I'm trying to post as frequently as I can. My last two videos were posted, like, I posted one on one day and then I posted the next on the second. I don't know if that's too frequent or not. I'm trying to post, bleh. I'm trying to figure out my posting schedule. Um, I'm thinking this video is going to go up either today on what day is it today on friday or on saturday so tomorrow um i don't know i'll have to figure that out because editing does take a while because i have to take all the clips from my camera and put that onto my laptop and then edit well i don't do much editing it's just merging all the clips together so yeah that's what takes up the most time the uploading part isn't that bad but then when i export the edited version onto my like into my files and that takes like another hour and all of that so yeah it takes some time but i mean i think it's worth it <laughs> um so yeah that's what her outfit is i hope you guys like her outfit as well i mean you should because it's adorable but yeah so like and subscribe if you want it'd be greatly appreciated um so yeah thanks for watching bye